Uh, Disha says, hi, Shannon. And she says, I'm continuously talking to my son, but he is not understanding things. He doesn't know the concept of yes and no. What can we do in such a case? He's 3.7 years old. Um, Vince, do you, I, I mean, I'm sure Nancy and I would recommend ABA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, of course. I mean, if, if we're talking about talking to him about his differences, or are we talking about the type, you know, what services, resources that they should, that that's into. interesting. I, I, because she goes on to say he doesn't know the concept of yes and no. I think it's just a general question that she talks to him and he doesn't seem to understand things that the receptive language isn't there. Right. Um, but in either case, if you've got somebody who is three, you know, three and a half and doesn't know the concept of yes and no, ABA can absolutely help there. Absolutely. And help in many different ways, right? Going back to your receptive, expressive language, vocal, non-vocal, you know, communicating. There's a lot of communication, you know, uh, uh, language development, you know, behavioral language development. That is absolutely something that ABA really, really strives on. I mean, our, our you know, verbal behavior, you know, curriculum in all, across all ABA disciplines, I'm not just saying CARD in particular. Um, are aimed at functional language, functional understanding of language, functional usage of language, you know, making sure that they understand how to ask for things, how to label things, how to interact with other people appropriately. Um, that's something that starts at a very young age, right? And it's not too late. And it's, you know, something that actually it really should be addressed immediately. Yeah. Thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.